Good morning, my name is Ian Sharp. Thank you for finding time uh, to hear my presentation today. As we only have a few minutes, I've uh, given you the presentation. I know you've had a chance to go through it, so we'll move quite quickly through the slides that will give us time to discuss at the end. So the theme of the exhibition is sustainability in photography, and in particular, the relationship between photography and the environment. And my pitch to you today includes the two images plus this presentation. My concept is, is for two images, demonstrating a child's home school journey, which contrasts car and walk cycle options to highlight the sustainability impact on children's health. In terms of development, I started first of all with a concept. I found eight different ideas, um, which I generated via a mind map, and then did some research, which proved to be very enlightening. Two key points which came out. Um, so firstly, from Cherry Deck, to shoot the change you want to make, hence the before and after approach. And secondly, that relatable human stories with a human element have far greater impact. And I've looked at both historical and contemporary images which demonstrate the value of framing, colour, i.e. red for danger, um, and that a suitable caption can make or break an image. Project management, I did in a spreadsheet, um, and also I have a logbook which I can show you which tracks progress, and both of these proved very helpful. And I updated them in real time as the project progressed. Alongside that, I had critical success factors which ensured the process was both effective and efficient. The photo shoot itself worked extremely well. Um, I required all the images I required, I got quite quickly on the day. Um, my daughter's role in ensuring the safety and happiness of my grandson was key on the day. Um, I did, however, find that reviewing the images on screen for detail during the live shoot was more difficult than I anticipated. Very little post production work was required. On image one, um, I enhanced the highlighting of the exhaust to make sure it was the key point. Um, plus uh, a minor enhancement on my grandson's face just to make sure that it, it was the right colour, the colour balance was a little bit off. On image two, very little change at all, I just raised the white balance a little to make the image a little warmer um, to give it the contrast from the first image. So image one, so the before image, um, images as you know read from left to right as you would read a book. So a key point here is the exhaust is very prominent, I was low down looking up um, and, and this makes sure the exhaust is prominent and you can see on here that I've, I've raised the brightness and you can see the exhaust is pointing directly at the boy. The boy is in soft focus in the background, um, bright red which demonstrates as I said earlier about, about danger and, and you can see that he's got quite a neutral expression on his face. So there's no smile, um, nothing which would distract you from the key message which is the exhaust um, moving over towards the boy's face. You'll see that I've framed him with the with the white van and that I've got a black car um, which is then nondescript and not distracting. On the second image, the, so the after, so I looked at a number of different options for this and the one that I decided uh, has an element of humour, so on the cycle lane where they have a white bicycle, um, I got the boy to lay down on this using the same clothes as before so it's still clearly him. Um, it proved to be a little bit tricky because the representation isn't accurately of a bicycle so I needed to do two things. Firstly ensure enough of the bicycle is visible so it can see so it's clear what it is um, and secondly um, to make sure that there was enough of him showing that you could see that he's actually supposed to be riding the bicycle. I really like image one it gives a very very clear message. This image too made me laugh. It's introducing some humour is a great idea. Thank you. So how I'll actually present those, um, and one of the things I've learned through this is, is the value of captions, is alongside each other. Both the images I wanted to be the same format and, and, and shape, so they're both in 3-2 format, um, with a message along the top saying, how should our children travel to and from school? And the message underneath says that um, air pollution causes 30,000 excess deaths each year prematurely on the left hand side and on the right hand side to get the viewer thinking there is a better way for our children. So in summary, I have thoroughly enjoyed producing these two images as my pitch for your exhibition today. and I'm keen to discuss how we can take this project together further. Do you have any questions? Yes. Yeah, so how well do you think your project relates to the topic and theme? That's a good question. I, I think that um, sustainability um, is really about our children and our children's future. 
um, and therefore anything which is improving the health of our, our, our children um, is really important. And also at the moment, uh, there's a lot of discussion about cars moving away from fossil fuels. So I think it's very timely at the moment. Tell me about the skills and techniques used. Right, okay. So um, on the first image, the depth of field is really important to make sure that it was the exhaust that was prominent and the child at the back less prominent but still visible. So I had to take several takes of that to get the right aperture. Uh, on some of them he was too out of focus and you couldn't really see what it was. On others he was too in focus and had equal prominence with the exhaust. So that was a, a really important point. I mean also a thing about humour and shooting the change. So I thought a lot about the composition and, and how, that, how that needs to work across the two images. So what worked well and what could you improve? Uh, what worked well? Um, I think the two compositions themselves work well and the messaging, the before and after, comes across really quite well. Um, I think what I'm still left with is I didn't want to run the car engine because that would put pollution into his face, obviously I don't want to do, but I didn't really find a way of showing that the engine was running at the same time. I mean, it could have been an image of a car running him over, which I suppose is equally valid in this context. Um, but with hindsight, maybe if I found a way for him sort of holding his nose or something like that, that might have worked. Um, but then his face is quite small in that and by putting his hand there, it's obscured his face. So um, I think that's the one thing that I'm left with and still wondering. Um, on the second image, uh, I think from the way I've, I've presented it in the caption, it's clear that he's riding that and not as opposed to just laying on the floor. And I think the humour actually works better um, with using using the, the painting of the bike rather than the real one but i think we'll have to wait and see what the viewing public think on that um what have you learned on this project i think i've learned i've learned a lot actually i've learned about reading images how they flow from left to right um i've thought a lot about how to deliver messages so thinking about the car and the exhaust the boy in the background the use of color the use of composition um what what was key through this was the analysis of the historical and contemporary images um, some of them were, were really excellent and things I've not thought about before. So the, the very old images from the 40s and 50s uh, showing smog, you've only got black and white, so you can't use colour with that. So how they've been quite clever with some of the framing. Um, children appear in almost all of these because children naturally pull on your heart. So I think that's a, um, a very important, uh, a very important uh, point always to include. Um, the more modern images, of use of colour and framing to guide the eye and I've tried to do that framing the little boy within the van, um, the boy laying on the on the bicycle on the floor etc. So all in all I think I've learned I've learned a huge amount about how to research and how to think about images. Okay thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.